Hi there, this is Serwin and today I'm gonna show you the best 10 CDR tweaks for iOS 7 for June 2014. Honestly, just like last month, I am really excited about this month's CDR tweaks and can't wait to show them with you. So let's not waste any time. The first tweak is GIF paper. We all use iPhone on daily basis and sometimes it is nice to have animated wallpapers instead of still ones. Unfortunately, Apple does not allow us to do that, but with the GIF paper, we can do this. GIF paper allows us to set animated GIF images as wallpaper for either home screen or lock screen or even both of them at the same time. What you have to do is find a GIF wallpaper, just Google it, then you can save it to your camera roll and then open GIF paper in settings and choose that photo. You can also copy the address of the image and paste it here in GIF URL. You can also change scaling mode, speed and wallpaper mode in settings as well. The second one is Smart Tab. Smart Tab is a tweak which gives some great features to your device. With this tweak, you can turn on the screen by double tapping it while the screen is off. You can also use gestures to perform other things like unlocking the device by swipe up from bottom while the screen is off. You can always configure those options in settings like changing just stress behavior or double tap functions. The third one is OK. OK is one of the best way to experience quick reply and quick compass on your device. Well, if you don't use Byte SMS, you should use OK. It happens now and then when you play a game, a message appears and in order to reply, you should head back to message app. But with OK, you can reply within the app. You can also compose a message from notification center by swiping it down. Another great feature is silent mode and it is really handy when someone distracts you. What you have to do is tap and hold his her name or number on message app to enable silent mode. You can configure more options in settings. The fourth one is Alt Keyboard 2. Alt Keyboard lets you quickly input non-alphabetic characters directly from your main keyboard without having to switch back keyboard modes. Simply flick up on the key to input its special characters as you can see here. You can also slide up on spacebar to access texting which is really handy. The fifth one is Quick Pass. Passcode is really useful when you are in public places or even at your workplace. But when you are at home, passcode is not handy and it is really boring when you always have to go back to settings to turn off the passcode, following by some procedures. I think you know what I mean. With Quick Pass, you can always turn on or off your existing passcode with just a tap. When you are at home, just turn off Quick Pass in settings and passcode will turn off. When you leave, turn it on as you can see here. The other one is OK Siri. Just say OK Siri to launch Siri. You can always change the default keyword in settings. Let's try. OK Siri. The seventh tweak is Bones Notify. When you get a notification for any app located in dock, the app Bones whether the icon badge is on or not. You can configure options in settings. The other one is music count. Music count is a tweak shows you how many times a song has been played by swiping to the right on any song in music app. The other tweak is today lock. iOS 7 is already have today view where you can see all of your events, reminders, as well as other things, but all in notification center. But with this tweak, you can see all those handy information right on lock screen. You can change some options in settings. The last one but not least is Apex 2. Apex helps you save home screen spaces by grouping similar function apps in one place. For apps like Music, Spotify and Beats Music, I'm going to make a group only for these apps instead of going to create a folder as you can see here. Have a look. Just swipe on the app icon to see other apps and it is really convenient and handy as well. That was all guys for this month. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I wish you get all the tweaks as soon as you can. 
please to let me know what you think about these tweaks in the comment section below and if you have any questions please do let me know so i can respond to you as soon as i can also in the end of the video i'm going to add two other videos which is about best serial tweaks for may and april so you have to just click on them and you're going back to those videos as well in a separate window i also want to thank my cousin parla who provides me with the background music i'm gonna put his soundcloud account in the description below have a look and listen to some great musics thanks for watching have a great time